Hey future nurses, welcome back to Step Into Your Dream, the channel where we make nursing school a little less stressful and a lot more fun. Today we are diving into the world of blood pressure, hypertension and hypotension. It's a battle of blood pressures. Are you ready to crack the code and ace this topic like a pro? Let's go! What is blood pressure? First, let's talk about what blood pressure is. Think of it as the pressure of your blood against the walls of your arteries. It's like a traffic on a busy freeway. Too fast, too slow, or just right. Normal blood pressure is around 120 over 80 millimeter of mercury. Anything above or below can cause problems. Hypertension or the silent killer. Let's start with hypertension as known as high blood pressure. It's like a traffic jam on the freeway, too much pressure in those arteries, making it hard for blood to flow smoothly. Key facts about hypertension. It's over 130 over 80 millimeter of mercury. Symptoms often there is none. That's why it's called the silent killer, but it can cause headache, vision problems, or nosebleed in severe cases. What is the cause? Stress, obesity, smoking, high salt diet, and genetic, you name it. What are the complications? If untreated, hypertension can lead to strokes, heart attacks, or kidney failures. Very scary stuff, right? So it's very important to monitor it. Hypotension, the low rider. On the flip side, we have hypotension or low blood pressure. It's like an empty freeway. There is not enough pressure to keep things moving. Key facts about hypotension. Consistently below 90 over 60 millimeter of mercury and symptoms could be dizziness, fainting, blurry vision. What are the cause? Dehydration, blood loss, heart issues, or even medications like diuretics. What are the complications? Hypotension might sound harmless, but it can lead to shock or organ failure if the blood can't deliver en enough oxygen. Now let's compare. Hypertension. Think of pressure going up, very dangerous over time, silent but deadly. Hypotension. Think of pressure going down, immediate effects like fainting or shock. Both need attention, but their causes, symptoms, and treatments are polar opposites. Nursing tips for blood pressure management. Here are, are some pro nursing tips. For hypertension, educate patients on lifestyle changes like eating healthy and exercising. Administer antihypertensive meds like ACE inhibitors or beta blockers as prescribed by healthcare provider. For hypotension, encourage hydration. Water is life. Help patient rise slowly from sitting or lying positions to prevent dizziness. Use medications like vasopressor in severe cases and always remember to assist the patient as a whole. Blood pressure is just one piece of the puzzle. All right, pop quiz time. What's the ideal blood pressure range? Drop your answers in the comments below. Y'all, you are all rock star nurses in the making. That's a wrap for today's video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Step Into Your Dream, and hit the bell so you never miss out on fun nursing tips. Remember, understanding blood pressure isn't just about passing your exams, it's about saving lives. See you next time and keep dreaming big!